So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to need is the Google Chrome browser if you're not using that already. So to find it, just search in Google with whatever browser you are using. Just search for Google Chrome. And then you'll see the uh, one of the first few results is google.com forward slash Chrome. You can get there by just going directly to that URL. So I'm going to click that. And then what you're going to want to do is just go over to the download button, find a download button and make sure you download it for your device. In this case, a personal computer and just click the download Google Chrome button and go ahead and install it. Okay, so you can pause the screen if you don't have Google Chrome and then go ahead and install that. We use Google Chrome because it's ideal for web development. Um, other browsers work, but Google Chrome tends to be the standard amongst web developers. Okay, so Go ahead and pause your screen if you haven't, download it and install it, and then we'll move on. The next thing we're going to do is log into a website called Cloud9. We have to set up an account there first, so go to your search bar and search for Cloud9 IDE. So just like that, Cloud9 IDE. And one of the first results you should see is C9.io. That's their website. You can get there by going directly to c9.io. And we're going to create a free account here um, in this cloud-based IDE. So IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. And that's just a fancy way of saying we're going to be able to write our code um, in a text editor. And this is a cloud-based text editor. And what that means is that there are a couple of benefits of doing this. We get to write our code directly in the browser and we can collaborate with other developers in real time, but maybe best of all is that you can log into any browser from any computer and get access to your same code base. So let's go ahead and set up our free account. I'm going to go over here to this uh, sign up form and set up my free account now. Once you've created your account, you'll be ready to log in. Um, so you should see their login screen. If not, just go to c9.io forward slash login and then we'll go ahead and log in and I'll see you inside. Okay, so once you're logged in, you should see a create a new workspace button over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. Go ahead and do that and then go ahead and give your workspace a name. I think it can only be hyphenated. So I'm just gonna call it custom theme. And you can leave a description if you want. Um, leave it public or private, it doesn't matter, as long as you don't use any sensitive passwords in there as we develop this. Um, and then what we're going to do is go down here and click WordPress, and then click Create New Workspace. Okay, cool. So this is our Cloud9 IDE interface. So we're kind of inside the actual IDE now. Okay, so one thing that I'm going to show you is you can go up here and click this View button. And from here, you should see a Themes uh, section here. And if you go inside there, you can kind of try out a bunch of different themes. It'll just change the look, the color, color scheme that you're using. Right now, I've got this Cloud9 Day theme active. Um, but you can kind of mess around and pick whatever you like best. Also, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on my browser. You don't have to do this, um, but just so that you'll be able to see this video clear, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that all the text that I type is a little bit larger for you. Cool, so let me give you a really brief tour. We're going to learn more about this interface as we go on. But just quickly, a brief tour. Um, so this upper section here, this kind of white section up here where it says Cloud9 IDE, uh, this is your text editor section generally. Okay, so we can edit code and we're going to write our code basically in this upper section here. Down below right here where it says bash down there and you can see this dollar sign, whenever you see that, you know that you're working inside a different type of window. This is called a terminal window. Sometimes it's also called a command line interface, or CLI. And sometimes it's also called DOS prompt. 
Um, it has a bunch of different names, but we'll just call it Terminal. Okay, so we're going to learn about what it does and all the different features we can use. But basically, you're going to be writing Linux instructions down here. And then over here to the left, this is our actual file system. So you can think of it as a hard drive. Now, what we're looking at is basically a virtual computer. We're basically using a computer um, in the cloud. So just a, a server owned by Cloud9. Um, and they've essentially provisioned it off for us to use as our own kind of private virtual computer. So here on the left, this is the hard drive. These are all the files that we have access to right now. Uh, in here. So files and folders. And don't be overwhelmed. There are a lot of files here if you haven't looked inside of a WordPress folder before. These are all the files and folders that make up a WordPress application. Okay, in the next video we're going to go ahead and set up our WordPress site.